Hello guys, this is Blubsky or Colonial Digger NY, and this is my collection of the things I use. I've been asking questions on all the detectors and stuff I have, so I'm going to get to it and show you what I've got. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's a nice amount. Okay, guys, let's start on the right. Well, this is my main detector for use. CX Terra 505. It's a great detector. Very good detector. It has great discrimination. It works well in iron. Deep, like strong iron. So that's very good. Say hi, Benny. Benny, leave. And this is my MXD Pro. I don't use this one anymore. My dad does. So, yep. And this is my Excalibur. My Excalibur 1000. Great detector. I love it. I had this first. This is a um, Tesoro Sandshark PI. I don't like it as much as the um, the Excalibur. The Excalibur actually goes deeper, and it's not a PI. It's multi-frequency BBS. Um, they both. All these are great detectors. Um, I am now a mine lab boy. I mean, I've used most of the big name brands. I've used Garrett's. Whites, Tesoros, I've used Technetics, but nothing matches a Mind Lab. So, um, Mind Lab's the way to go. Next caliber, that's definitely the ultimate beach hunter. What I don't like about this coil is it kind of floats. It's very thin, but it floats. Um, this coil works extremely well in water. These are for land, but they can get waterproof. They're waterproof. This is a 12 inch coil for the um, MXT. I'm getting the 15. Um, coil tech coil um, for the Excalibur. I mean the um, Xterra for Christmas. I'm paying for it actually. I just sold my platinum ring and that I found. And um, what I'm then I'm gonna buy the three kilohertz one for extra depth. Um, I've had questions on the shoes I wear. Um, these are the shoes I wear for water detecting. The Scuba Boots by um, Scuba Max. Great boots. They hold up extremely well. And this is my old detector. I have two more detectors. Um, I have two more bounty hunters, but I left one of them down in North Carolina, so that was a fail. The other one I got rid of for parts. Um, I took this off for parts for the Excal, because they didn't like the um, armrest on that one. But um, Classic ID, love this detector. Found me my first large scent for silvers and everything. And Got the coil on it. Now, what you should always have with you packed is in cold weather hunting is a balakava. These things go over your face, otherwise known as a ski mask. These are the gloves I use. They're extremely good. They're very thin but very strong. I like it thin. I don't like those thick, chunky gloves because you can't really feel the coin and feel where it is, but these are nice because you can and they protect your hands. This is like a weed puller. What I use this for is I go around the sides of the hole and pop the coin out. I, this is my main shovel. It's not. It's a trenching shovel, but it's not like those super long ones that go out to here. It's a medium-sized trenching shovel, which is quite perfect for um, the farm fields and everything like that. That's a great farm field detector, um, farm field shovel. And I have my cheap, um, um, what's it called, sand scoop. I put a uh, thing on it to make it stronger, but it just bent all the way into it. So um, didn't really work that well, but you know. It's alright. This is how I do my research. I have an old, old map of where I go metal detecting in the farm fields. And this is a modern aerial images overlaid with the property lines of my ancestors and my cousins and whatnot who were the original settlers of this area. And um, always got to have the mine lab hat with me. Always should pack this. This is a um, headlamp. They're always good to have. Just in case you ever get caught in the dark. Um, this is always nice to have when you're in the dark on the on the. See how bright that is. Yeah, those are usually for bicycles, but you should always have a pocket knife. This is a quite a big one actually. That's my hand. I have a pretty big hand, so um, it's always good to have that. Um, and here's some of the arrowheads I found. Just a few of them, and these are my Grey Ghost um ultimate. NDT headphones. They're extremely good. They block out a lot of noise and I don't get to listen to people um, because a lot of the comments are kind of annoying. But I try to explain the hobby and all the benefits of it and that we're not just destroying the ground and whatnot and ripping up things. 
Jolly Rogers headphones. These are all right. They're very, they're comfortable. They're good. I had the white Royal GT. Those are terrible. They kept hurting my ears. Um, I was actually in the front page of the newspaper. See, front page. That's me. I started my own business, so recovery of lost items. Either I take that backpack for long trips, or I take this small camelback or face type backpack for um, metal detecting. Always got to have the Yankee hat. Um, there's some things I found. These are all coppers, mostly um, half cent that I found. I mean, a half dime. More, another copper. More coppers over here. Two right there. One right there. One right there. One right there. A bunch of coppers and a bunch of stuff that I found over the time that I've been doing this. More stuff in here. Colonial shoe buckle. A half dollar. All that good stuff. Um... Here's the oldest bottle I've ever found. Well, one of the oldest. I found a black glass 1750s bottle, but 1850s bottle. Toothpaste top, beautiful bottle. Ellison, C. Ellison Co. Philadelphia, PA. What a beautiful bottle. The, um, so, and then my shoes. I always wear my high-tech hiking boots. Very good. I stepped in so many puddles and haven't gotten anything in them. Very good to tech. Um, very good shoes. And got to have the raincoat. North Face are always nice. And um, Mine Lab backpacks. They are so worth the money. They're very nice. Here's some of the change I found. I sold. I got rid of most of it already. This is just from recent week. So, um. So, that's that's my um, armament. So, um. Thank you guys for watching. Um. Oh yeah, and always have wool socks. Wool socks are always good. Usually you should have a polypropylene and a wool sock layer so you don't get hot spots on your feet and then they don't rub and create blisters because no one wants blisters. Um, good thing to have if you to improvise for the um, Xterra or any other detector that is not waterproof, put a plastic bag over it. It always works. I When I was doing it in the rain, I put a plastic bag over and it worked. So thank you guys for watching and please subscribe. Okay guys, also is this camera mount. This camera mount, Neil in West Jersey, or Neil Schwartz, great guy, he makes these camera mounts. They work extremely well. They don't wobble, they don't shake, and they will never break. Um, hey, that was a good rhyme, I like that. That should be a slogan, but um, gets great images. If you're looking to up your um, image quality and to make your videos more viewable, make sure to get one of those. They're well worth the money. And if you play paintball, they um, also have that. And it tilts, it turns, it locks. Um, it's really good. And it's on tight to that metal detector, as you can see. So it won't fall over, unlike the Excalibur, which is about to. But um, that's about it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, this has been just a wrap-up of... What I use, I also use this tripod, great tripod. Um, thank you, guys, and remember to look up the um, camera mounts from Neil and West Jersey. He has his um, online store. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Bye.